My name is Trey Real. And I'm Tasha Real. And we're married to the real. And this is The Flash Final Run. It's about to be action packed, so sit back and enjoy the snacks. The Flash, Season 9, Episode 13, the series finale. A New World, Part 4. This is it. This is it. This is the last time. <laughs> this is the last time we will have Flash commentary. I mean, not the last time, but like I'm sure I talk about the Flash again in the future, but this show it's the last episode i have dedicated nine years of my life to the flash i remember season two episode eight of arrow when grant gustin came in and was i'm barry allen barry allen came in and I was like, this skinny kid is the Flash? I was like, and then I just saw him start geeking out and it's like, okay, okay. I can see this. I can get behind this show. No blonde hair. I was like, okay. I mean, that's actors. I mean, how, how many actors, grown men, do you see with blonde hair like that? Not too many. So I was like, okay, I can get with that. And I was like, mm, eventually he'll get older. He'll, you know what I'm saying, start filling out, you know what I'm saying, put a little bit more weight on him, more muscle. And he did. And he got the suit with the red emblem. Then we got the white emblem. Speedsters. The Thinker. Cicada. Bloodwork. Mary Mana. The Forces. Always back to speed. It's Thon, Zoom, Savitar. This is it. This is the final run. I will miss this show. Even though to me this season wasn't the greatest, I will miss seeing these cast of characters together. Mm -hmm. I will miss Grant. I will miss Candace leading this series. I will miss the flash. So one last time, the final run. Let's hear it one more time, Barry. My name is Barry Allen. I promised somebody that. To understand what I'm about to tell you, you need to do something first. Mm -hmm. You need to believe in the impossible. Can you do that? Nope, I can't believe it. Eddie Thawne is the avatar of the negative speed force? Yes, that's the reason the crystal has been attacking us across time. It was charging with power. Sounds to me like we could really use the flash right about now. Guys, can you hear me? Hmm. Barry. Oh, thank God. This is where they supposed to be at. <laughs> this how this book. My boy Teddy. Flash. Oh. What did you do? Last thing I remember, the Flash had just sicked his time rates on me. How he do so this? That coward is responsible just for them out of here. I highly doubt it. This motherfucker coming from upstairs <laughs> like he been Welcome in this bitch. Negative speed for us, fellas. First time. Love your work, although. Slightly derivative, don't you think? Pretending to be the Flash's ally. <laughs> playbook. <laughs> now you're catching on. Good zoom. I'm the fastest Bro. man alive. No. We could have been had these. Yes. Velocity 9 junkie, the fastest man alive. All this evil ego. In hey. I'm the one true god of speed. Oh! Oh, are you? I am. Before I bring this 
dimension to its knees. I demand to know who brought us here. I did. Oh. What? Eddie, like classic session, bitch. Boys, meet Eddie Thawne, the dumbest branch on my oh. family tree. <laughs> How does a complete waste of a human being like yourself plan to defeat uh, the Flash like this? Soup time. Mmm. You knew that. You knew that. Oh, that's comic book accurate right there. The negative speed force. I chose a new avatar. Who? Oh. I hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> not coming with the flowers? It's cobalt blue now. Hey, Iris. Flash. The nerve. I'm not here to fight. Run, Barry. Run. Mm. We got an hour. We got an hour. Let's go. Let's go. You too slow, bro. Look at Eddie with this. We could have been had this. Bro, you ain't ready. Cram oh, this shit in one episode. Oh, not the lightning spears. Damn. Shit! No violent, huh? <laughs> Pulling up. This is why we need speedsters. Pulling up. This is why I been said they should have did, bro. Damn. You gonna cram this shit in one episode. I know bear like this motherfucker. <laughs> Pulled up all them dead bitches. They could have, bro. I'm gonna look to the left because this shit ain't right. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Tell me, tell me, tell me right now. Tell me to my face. Wally should have been here. Mm -hmm. Jesse should have showed up. Mm -hmm. Bart should have showed up. Mm -hmm. Jay should have showed mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. And that was the 515 right there. We done. But Team we, Flash. I'm, I'm just, I'm just. These are speedsters, y'all. Look at who we're fighting. We're fighting speedsters. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's just a few. It's just one week. Like what? Fourteen days of shooting. I'm sure you probably could have got some of those people. Barry could have even split into. You know what I'm saying? I know Jay a speed came, barrage. Uh, yeah, John, 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 John did this coming. episode. I, I ain't even tripping he on that. Coming, but like, John, they had already had Keenan. They could have just kept them for, like, you know, had them for that. Like, I don't know if they're busy. Now, if they're I don't know busy, about the girl who played JC. Exactly. I don't know what she's doing. But I'm like, if, they, like, and I don't know what Jordan's doing. I don't know if he's on Broadway or not. You know what I'm saying? He's, and, so, you know, it depends. If they were busy, I get it. But did you make that call? You see what I'm saying? These are the questions that need to be asked. Did you make that call? It's so like bittersweet when you know one of your favorite shows could have done better and then like chose not to. Like, and like I said, it's nothing against the people that's acting. But like, how long have y'all heard me say that they should have pulled up like this? I think I was saying this last season, right? No, you were saying that uh, when Barry got stabbed and like, what was that? I thought that was last season that happened. No. I don't know when that. When Savitar stabbed, stabbed him, I thought that was last. Season. That seemed like it was years ago. Like that was season seven, maybe season six or some shit. It could have been seven at the most. Like yeah. that. That was a while ago. But I'm like, they gonna cram that shit in one episode just for one fight. Okay. Flash, flash, flash. And the leg got a costume too. How this all turns out. We're going to slaughter your team and end your legacy forever. No, you won't. And that's your only warning. Oh, I like her. Execute Delta maneuvers. Huh? Wait, when did we practice this? What is she can fly? Y'all, Cecilia is flying with her mind. To still get CGI time in a suit, y'all. On top of that, she fighting Savitar. Oh, that's that's funny, cause that's her daddy. <gasps> oh shit, bro, bro. Oh, god damn. 
guess. Let me mind fuck everybody. Mental mistress is at it again. They could have had my boy Chest out here throwing black holes or something, bro. To fear for his life, guys. Awaken black hole. He's fine. Mm. Right on cue. Keon called it. What now, Chief? Of course, the girl that looked like Caitlyn. That's who he fighting. Get your hands in the air, Zoom. You're mm -hmm. your only warning. Laura CCPD's finest for me to slaughter, huh? My boy Teddy. She's a force of nature, guys, remember? Power up the leg, bro. Damn. Now you see why they wanted him to die. <laughs> See, I don't mind her doing that. I know she got powers and yeah, shit. You know. Her shit makes sense. It does. Now Cecilia can fucking fly. I'm like. Another black man down, huh? No. He got right here. Gonna take their speed. Oh, no wonder they were down. I wondered the reason. Oh, damn. He as fuck like it's a lot of stuff going on it's a lot of battling it's a lot it's a it's an action-packed episode as it should be as it should be there should not be like towards the end like i know the last segment last two segments probably not gonna be as action-packed and i understand that but for for a finale it is that you can sense the urgency so I have a question. Everybody that got psych ab psychic abilities can fly? No, because no. like that you can't fly, right? No. Okay, so when we like she just she just went outside one day and was like up up and away. Like I obviously from last week to this week and I, hold up, hold up. My bad. We just found this out in a few hours because obviously, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's the same day because all this has been going on since the the fucking mm. so this is within a span of an hour or two that she wanted she could so fly. So she peeked in on herself in the future. And mentally, mentally she knew she could fly. Mystified. And she brought that back. Mentally okay. mystified mistress. You got it. Okay. Confused as fuck. <laughs> oh, we gonna still we like it, but we gonna talk shit. Don't get it misconstrued. I like it, but this could have been the whole season though. It could have. But y'all wanted to rush into this shit last minute. Y'all brought all them boys back to get dogged in three minutes. You could have brought them back week to week. In a, we didn't have to do the fight right then, though. It could have, like, led up to this, you know, writing. Actual writing. It could have led up to this. It very but well could have. you really brought my boys back for them to get dog, dog walked, not even by the main character, in, like, two to three minutes. Like, Allegra being pissed off because she thinking Chuck dead, I can see her I powers can. doing that. But the fact that we just learned today that Cecile can fly, and then she just, like, took out her boy like that, like... 
Keon's powers doing what she's doing. I we get that. We've been seeing her powers grow throughout the season. She's that, a force of nature. Exactly. We've been seeing that all season. So her doing absorbing lightning, I can see that. I don't know why they just had Mark standing there though with his outfit on. I mean Keon, you know what I'm saying, back up. I get it. But you know, I understand and ice can slow down speedsters. Remember uh mm -hmm. Killer Frost slowed down uh Black Flash when he came out when she was helping uh Savitar. So ice vibrations, you know. We all I'm saying, if Cisco was here, even more hype. Fucking with to finally beat up Thawne, tell me that wouldn't have been better. Cisco versus Thawne after season one, episode 15, after all that, doing that, and he, Thawne talking about. I'm gonna do it How one more time. How much would it have been for Keon to actually be Caitlyn since her and uh, Zoom had a past anyway? Ooh. But you know, plot. <laughs> These are just things that, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna observe and we're gonna say something about. But I do love the acting. The acting is A1. I'm not gonna. So see who can say them corny ass lines though. Next segment. Mm hmm. Red skies vanish. All over the city. Does that mean the whole timeline's breaking down? So how do we stop Eddie? Now that he's the negative speed force avatar, the only way to defeat him is to let him destroy himself, just like the last one. Okay, so let's do that. Eddie's a hero. He saved my life once by sacrificing himself to stop Dawn. I won't let him die again. Right. My wife is in the hospital right now, about to give birth to our child. I am trying to save the timeline and Eddie's life. Son. To bear like, get the fuck up out my face, cash money more. <laughs> bear out here like, no. bitch. The pressure. I can get you into the negative speed force, but what will you do once you're there? Stop Eddie from killing himself. But now see her helping him get in there. Cool. What am I supposed to do? I thought with the new baby for you, this was safe. You just want it all for yourself. I want to save you. All that power is overloading your body. You can't survive it. Shut up. Damn. <clears throat> you stole my life. Oh. It wasn't going to work in my head. I'm not going to fight you anymore. You okay. stopped on. I did. I saved everyone. You know why? I got the bloody nose. Because I always win for I always win for oh. oh shit! Oh wow. They're so nonviolent. I'm, I mean, we don't like violence. What, what? Why we got blood coming out the hero mouth? We hate violence, bro. Kill him now. Take back what's yours. I love you. Eddie, you hold the power now. You have to remain as the Avatar. Remember what he stole from you. You were the answer. Thong gave in to hate, but you can fight it. It can still be yours. All of it is what you deserve. That's how we'll create a better world. Both sides working together. Now, kill him! <laughs> Whose voice is that, bro? Get him! I'm doing this doesn't mean we'll always see eye to eye. We're still on opposite that sides. That was so quick, bro. Damn. I know. Together, we'll find a way. The Red Ranger and the and the Blue Ranger, even though it looks green. That sucks. That it just everything. So he just so stuck quickly. here. Everything happened just like so quickly. Huh? I just say everything happened so quickly. It did. They, it didn't take a lot of convincing, you know. Cyrus. I... Well, Daddy, you're just oh. in time. Really? Oh, Nora's coming. Or is she? Okay. Right. Let's see.
Cause I ain't gonna lie. I still feel like we should have got the tornado twins. I still I feel I feel like Barry and Thorn. I mean Barry and Ada should have been twins. It would have made more sense now with this ending. Brothers. Mm-hmm. Like seeing eye to eye, but you know what I'm saying? Him able to reach him more. Like, that was the whole thing. I mean, y'all gave the Malcolm. And you gave the doctor name Gilmore. Like, come on. It's like y'all have these little nuggets and y'all just like, I mean, some of these things should just be. They Easter egg. That's all they want. Yeah, I'm like, sometimes Easter eggs are not enough. Sometimes a person, like, it makes sense why certain people are able to handle the speed force. A lot of these people are related to Barry and Wally. And it it, 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 it makes Thawne's existence even more wild because that Thon, well, Barry is Thawne's great uncle. Like, it makes it more like, yo, bro, you did, like, you killed your great grandma? Like, I know it's so many greats, but I ain't finna call out them greats. But you get what I'm saying? Like, that's wild. I'm like, and, 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 and to drive it on home, that means... Like, you're a part of the family anyway. I enjoyed, like, 80% of what we got so far. But I just, it feels rushed. I won't lie to you. It does. Because you still could have had it written to where, like, you could have had, like, little speed force storms happening here and there. And them try to figure out why is the speed force doing this. Like, you know, like, the negatives. Oh, this, the timeline is fracturing. Why? Like, we could have built up to this point instead of everything just smack. Y'all brought all these motherfuckers back to be on the camera five minutes. Exactly. And then this is it. Like, time, like temporal distortions this episode. This episode, we got Zoom, Savitar. Like, why are these people suddenly popping back? What is the big bad that leads up to this? Mm-hmm. Instead of bringing them, like, it's cool. It's like fan service because you know people wanted to see this, but it felt rushed. They literally was here to just say shit. In that little scene where they was both here and they had like two minutes where they did something and then they was gone. That's This is where uh, Grant was sick. The mm-hmm. Savitar scene, this is why we didn't see him as Savitar because Grant was still had you know what I'm some of those scenes he had uh, COVID. And, then, and like, he was just recovering from it. That's the whole fight, Eddie losing his shit to get here only for him to be talked down in like two minutes. And I'm like, it's good, yes, but it just, like I said, it feels rushed. It's like, it's something that could have happened over time. Because his buildup as the villain over 13 episodes would have been better than his buildup over four. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I'm still miss, you know what I'm saying, these actors in this show. Yeah. Is Jay's confirmed that Red Lightning is gone? The timeline is back to normal. Mm. Which means the whole Legion Zoom is right back where they belong, too. And Barry has once again saved the world. How are you feeling, John? Hungry. But also totally normal. 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 You're good. good. Despite being hit by enough electricity to kill an entire circus full of elephants, Runker doesn't have a scratch on him. I'll be back with you. Y'all so cool. Are you saying that I have black hole powers? Do you? Because I ain't seen it. Technically. Your genes I didn't see nothing. Consciousness honed universally neutralized current anomaly. Hold on, I'm I'm a I'm a CHU NK. Are you? I'm a chunk, baby. I'm a chunk, CHU NK. What the? F- oh, that's Are you? Cause I ain't seen nothing. We spent money on some CS2. We could have seen a black hole or two. We gotta go. Baby's coming. How about now? Not Nora here for her own birth, bitch. I'm finna go. They don't take her ass back off. You'll go home. Not her here for her own birth. She's not giving birth while the thinker is trying to take over the city. Girl, they should have left you back how you well, were. Today is pretty weird too. I mean, not the little J helmet. About to be born on the other side of that wall. <laughs> it now what would have been funny had uh. Am I breaking timeline rules? Right. Being here? You, a little. I wasn't gonna say much, but it, it's fine. Yeah, we, fine. We fixed it. Wells, timeless Wells. It's time. Wells. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Did you travel across the cosmos just to be here for Barry and Iris? No, he's here for you. Not just them. The negative speed force is threat. It's gone. It's time for you to and go. So it's time for you to ascend. But I, that could have been Caitlyn, y'all. That could have literally been her ending. Right?
Let me find out she's gonna start having more contractions. But they lightning made two different colors. Yeah. Nice to finally meet you. You could tell she ain't used to this. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that baby was missing. She's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so she's like, <laughs> But she probably not used to holding a baby. I know, baby. that's why I said she not used to it. I'm not like making fun of her, but I know she probably not like used to it. And I mean, everybody don't like kids either, but you know, acting. <laughs> so yeah, it's just one baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just one baby. Okay. Well, yeah. we ain't finished watching, so we don't know officially, but you know. Well, with their skills, I'm sure it's just one, but. Um, yeah. I'm tripping at the fact that Nora's really there for her own birth, though. How cool would it have been if Jordan would have put up like, hey, sis, and then there would have been like another one, but. I remember you with a small. That yeah, baby looking like a cool you for the first time. Bringing you home. Now look at you. I'm a granddad, and you're a mom. <laughs> I'm glad Jesse L came back for for now. I'm glad they left her stomach on realistically Lady because that shit don't just go away. Oh, here we go. The flashbacks of all the good moments. These were my people. I can't believe you're leaving us. Feels like just yesterday you were comparing me to a daffodil seed. And look how you've blossomed. Yeah, I will take care of Kesha, Bob, Laverne, Khalil, John Paul, all of them. No, I don't and I'm sure they will be excellent companions to you, just as they were to me. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, not her getting the best exit. Mother Nature leaves. Clean, clean. <laughs> Go play. Caitlyn back! I figured when she said leave this mortal body. So that's why they didn't like have her do it. With her family. I never thought I'd see you again. I know, but see, I this how I was supposed to feel when she died. Yeah, because <laughs> we didn't get none yeah, of that. I often say we didn't get none of that. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? They were just like, oh, Caitlyn gone. All right. <laughs> So, okay, I can accept her being key on to get this. Yeah, like, I mean, shit, thing. like. I feel this, I'm like, Is bro. Is that they... supposed to be the person that was returning, though? Okay. What you mean? We were going to see an old friend. You know how they like to wordplay. Like, Cisco was coming back. No, nah, I already so, knew he wasn't coming back. No, nah, I, I understood why he, he wasn't coming back, because I know he's on another show. I knew he wasn't coming back because he said it, <laughs> so... No, he. I what what I heard like he said he would have came back, but the, yeah, it was scheduling. Like the scheduling was messed up for him, yeah, and it course. sucks because I feel like he would have he would have really he spent seven years on this show, mm -hmm. and like he would have I feel like that he would have came back that, and that would have been an even better ending had he pulled up yeah. and came back with his powers though, like like because he was so powerful as a meta in the multiverse of things like he was so powerful they could have brought him back and hinted that like his powers came back or something like, like that shit I, wasn't permanent because they never knew if it was permanent anyway true i got i got a vibe one week later no villains of the weekend mm, not cash money mark giving her the drink no matter how many times i tell her i'm fine carla still wants to run more tests you think it was a crazy 24 hours before I was born? We have for Bart's due date. Is she like? Great. <laughs> Bro. He loves me. I have to keep forgetting he like still exists. They just not soon. Over the last few years. They finna get married. I've watched you take on a second career. <laughs> become a superhero. <laughs> and be the best mother Jenna could ever have. Yes! Maybe that's what I mean, finally, am I right? Girl, before he changed his mind, be quiet. See, that's, that's how he bumped get left right there. Finally! I'm gonna let it slide because it ain't a wedding, but they love having other people get married at Barry and Ours events, don't they? 
Your dad is fast. Faster than the speed of sound. And the faster I go, the more the world slows down. But it wasn't always easy. When I was a kid, I lost the people I cared about most. I won't let that happen to you. Our family has been blessed with these amazing gifts. Maybe that speed shouldn't just belong to us anymore. Mayor Sam. My friend Oliver said that the lightning chose me. Well now, he making a speed force storm? I'm gonna do the choosing. Yup, a speed force storm. Car trouble this morning. That girl! I forgot her name. Yeah, the one from um, Avery the, Avery. yeah, the one that bought it with like. Time to go home. Max Mercury. <gasps> Max. Jess Who? Chambers. Jess Chambers. Cool. Maybe if we share a piece of ourselves. We can break out of our old cycles of violence and pain. Oh, let me find that one. One where we can coexist. All of us. One last one. My name is Barry Allen. The world where nothing there we go. I told you it's going to be him running. As long as we believe in it. Man, give me a second. That was the best part. That was the best part. Him sharing his lightning and get, I didn't think they would do that. I need to look up who Jess Chambers is. Jess Chambers is Future state. Oh, she's the latest flash. <sighs> Grant. So I think she's the newest flash. The newest, like. So we got to see Max. Yeah. I didn't know that's what he looked like. I never really knew that character like that. I mean, that's probably not what he looked like, but. I just, uh, I don't know, I guess thought he was younger. <laughs> and so they brought that girl back. That was kind of cool. The one that, um. Yeah. That Bart was, on. Yeah, uh, that Bart that was kind of like flirting with. Yeah. That season so, that was on. <clears throat> that was cool. That was. That was the best part for me. Like the ending, like the last couple minutes, that was like the best part for me. Just kind of, you know. Him with baby Nora and Iris, and then like him sharing his feed, and then showing him room one more time. That was like the best part for me. He chose, like, okay, the, he's the lightning bolt that chose himself. So, what they said, no, yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the lightning bolt that chooses other speedsters. Yeah, I'm gonna cool. send it off, and I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna pick now. And it's like, okay, the speed force was like, okay, I see this. Like, like, speed force Nora was cool, like, she was like, okay, I'm okay with this. I like that they included the new girl, though. The latest inter incarnation of the Flash. Mm -hmm. Well, they, because they're non-binary in the comics. So, the thing, the, the things, there are more things that I love that I didn't, that I didn't, which is a plus. Have you read anything about them? Just see. Jess Chambers' Kid Quick. <laughs> That's their name. Member of Earth 11's Team Justice. Um... It's Man. it's bittersweet. It really, really is. Cause like you fell in love with this show and the characters for sure. And I still love them to this day. Just seeing it go off is just like, man. I feel like he should have been able to keep one of them suits though. Like if I put this suit on for nine years, like something like that, I feel like he should be able to keep like one of those suits just because that was like that's a part of his legacy. Like when you think the Flash, if you're a real Flash fan, you're gonna think of Grant Gustin as the Flash. everybody, like everybody I've been seeing this last week has been adamant. 
Grant Gustin is my flash. Exactly. They have not. People are not wavering, bro. Like if you watch, people the old are flash, not wavering. I know people know like uh, John, John Wesley Shift, since he yeah. played Jay, but like for this era, yeah, like for this era, like Grant is the flash. So when period. you think, so when you think Flash, you think Grant, but like for Golden Age, John Wesley, like you know what I'm saying. I really right. wish that DC could get their shit together and they really did do a real reboot and they could talk Grant to coming back to be the Flash. I feel like he's at the age where I know he may not want to. No, no, no. He oh. said, I'll entertain the call. So he, like, that's what he said. He said, someone calls me, I'll entertain the call. I know what that means. Like, I Because really think about it, it's reboot. easier to shoot three months and be away from your family for three months Versus opposed nine. to nine months. Yeah. Like, y'all gotta understand, he's away. When you're shooting a CW show, when you're shooting TV shows, sometimes you'll wait nine months out of a year. That's tough. But if I could I shoot for three it. months and still make, I don't know, five to ten million dollars. I would love for them to actually do like a good flash story after this little movie come out or whatever and they reboot the franchise. I really wish they could get him to be the flash going forward. And I, I would watch that. I would watch it then. Nice. But it's it's I don't know, man. I love Candace as Iris. You know what I'm saying? I love, like, like, I feel like I saw Grant on Glee first. Then, like, I saw him as a Flash, and I was like, whoa. Because, like, that was two different, <laughs> that was, like, polar opposites. I didn't even realize that I saw him on 90210, um, the reboot. The reboot. I didn't even realize I saw him. I didn't know he was on there. Like, I, I, and, but then, like, when I really saw him, it was on yes. Arrow. That's yeah. when I really was like, but mm-hmm. he's a great actor. Like seeing him yeah. in, in different stuff, like he's he could really really act. Cause like when he be crying, I be crying. Like you know what I'm saying. It, it took when he was talking, like he was upset this episode. You could see like the tears for him. Like chill out now, <laughs> like chill, cause I'm already. Yeah. But like I'm, it's like I say, it's bittersweet because like we started from with the show from the beginning, and then it's like every show have they rough patches. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like I just really feel like for this last season, there's a different way we could have went about it. And I get it, like, you know, everybody have their vision for stuff, but it really should have been straight up Flash Family and reverse Flash Family oriented because that's how the story started. They're like there's Barry Allen, there's reverse Flash. Like he tried to kill him, he ended up killing his mom instead. That's how the story starts. So the story should have ended with the Flash family and the reverse Flash family. If you needed the sidekicks to come in and help or whatever, cool. Keon, like them doing that just so she could turn back into Caitlyn, cool. I ain't have no problem with that. But I still just feel like, you know, I wish there could have been more Flash members that could have, like, helped. It just seemed rushed because you had the villains come in for this big fight. It's still just, like, a couple minutes they was done, you know, and I just like I just feel like there could have been a build up to this point. That's all. That's why it's bittersweet. I can let the other shit in the past go for some of the battle seasons, but this, yeah, this I just the final feel like season. you know, yeah, like it's it's the last season. Like this is the last time we'll ever get to watch the Flash. The Flash, unless he like they actually go get movies. him to do the movies. And, and I be that then, I be in that bitch so quick. And even then, I feel like sometimes I feel like they won't do that only because you get unless they get Iris too. Like they get yeah. Candace too. It's gonna be weird. For yeah. people, because you've seen them for nine years build up this chemistry and this relationship. So to see him in movies would be great, but also to like see him with somebody else playing Iris is gonna be weird as fuck. Yeah. So it's like that's the thing too, because then it's like they may not want to go with her for True. for Iris. They may want him, but not her. He might, you know. And I I don't know. Like I'm just saying, like I'm cool with everybody getting checks when I, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it'll just, it'll be weird. Like I'll have to put in my mind, okay, this is the movie universe. It may not be that weird because everybody else is going to be different too. Yeah. When you think about it. But it's just the chemistry that they bought, they brought being Barry and Iris was like unmatched. Like just being for real. It'll, it'll, just like if I saw Tyler Superman and that girl wasn't playing and Betsy wasn't playing Lois, it would be weird because they just, they got that, that on chemistry. Stream chemistry that just worked like that. Yeah. So I get so, it. Like yeah. I get it. Like it would be weird, but you would have to like you know what I'm saying. I get it over it to see him be Flash again because that's one of the characters that I love. And you know, unfortunately, I can't really fuck with this new movie like that. I mean, to each their own. But do y'all? Think? I just this. But for nine years, I 
I have watched, I have waited, I have, I've been, I've laughed, I've cried, I've been pissed, I've hated things, and that's just the way it goes. Like, I mean, do I, could I, did I want something better? Was the finale good? The finale was good, yes. As in the season, as in, in its entirety, no. Could have been better? Of course it could have. It could have been as epic as anything you've ever seen in this world. But we didn't get that, and that's okay. Will I watch The Flash again all the way through? Yeah, I know what episodes to watch. You know what I'm saying? I know what to do, how to do it. Now, I know what y'all probably asking. Trey, what thought is that? I saw in an article that they said it was season one. No, that wasn't season one thought. I don't know. And I think Eric said that season one thought. How could that be? Season one thong. Look at that. One, one, why is he wearing that outfit if he's season one? Two, uh, we were talking about Speed Force, uh, him being a Speed Force avatar. Come on, bro. And then I feel like, and then another thing I feel like should have happened. I feel like Thon should have went after Barry too. Like, why is Barry... Why is he going after Chester? Who's like exactly. Like why is he? Why is he of all people going after Chester? I feel like Thon should have went after Barry. Like why Chester? Mm -hmm. I feel like I just feel like that was more. You know, it it just feels like certain things were left open ended. I feel like I'm gonna make a statement. And I'm just making a statement off things I've seen and heard on the internet. So I could be 100% wrong in this statement. But if y'all did play up Cecile like that and give her a suit and a name just to try to make a spinoff. Oh, yeah. I, I feel that. like that's greedy and that's fuckery because your mind should have been on The Flash, period. That's that's what it was. Let me let I'm no. That's 100 percent fact. I know that y'all tried to make a spinoff. That's what this season was. That's what the see the worst episode ever from this season. I forgot to say that shit the other week. Y'all tried to make a spinoff in your last season to make money. That's not what you do. Stop being assholes and doing that shit. But you're trying to make a spinoff off for Cecile. And that's what the whole 2049 shit was. You're trying to make a spinoff with these other characters. Look. This is your last season. You have 13 episodes. It's over now. Yes, it this doesn't matter. But stop doing that kind of stuff. That This is why a lot of people left season four. Because you kept trying to do things that people just didn't like. I'm going to be honest. It didn't even make no sense for her to not be old in 2049 either. That Because no still the oldest motherfucker on the team. And you mean to tell me my powers keep you from wrinkling and getting gray hair? Like, y'all got to stop it. Make it make sense, literally. I get that motherfuckers got powers, but if everybody else is aging and you're not... That Iris looked older than she did. That exactly. makes no sense. Y'all going to get Iris the gray hair, but y'all ain't give it to Cecilia. She could have had one gray streak or something. Nothing? She should have been in her 60s in 2049. I know she busting 40 now, if not over. No, she's like in her 50s now. Because, I'm giving her 40 something. Because Barry's 34. That you're not gonna tell. Oh, yeah, she older because I forgot she got a grown ass daughter. Too. Exactly. And I'm like, at the most, I'm still I I'm just saying, at the least, I'm trying to give her 40. She still should have been in her 60s in 2049. So yeah. there's no way that she looked that way in 2049. And like this is how I know now. you in your 50s now, because Joe ain't dating somebody his daughter age. And that ain't how spinoffs work either. Like, a spinoff is one of them situations where, oh, you got this character that's, like, getting all this attention, you know what I'm saying? We weren't trying to necessarily get that attention, but everybody just fell in love with this character. That's when you fucking make a spinoff. Like, had Barry pulled up on Arrow and nobody fucking liked him, it wasn't going to be no Flash show. But it's, it's, it's the way the characters are introduced. You introduced a crime. You brought us Barry. From Central City, I was, I, bro, I was geeked. I was geeked. Barry, I... Bitch, I lost it that episode. I was like, them next few months, I was on the... I was checking the internet almost every fucking day. Did it get picked up? Did the pilot get shot? And What's that happening? Was good and it felt organic, though. Yeah, don't... This season, you can't make a season where nothing makes sense, and but you want to focus on one character trying to get a spinoff. That's greedy. That's what... That's the same thing they did with Game of Thrones. We ready to go to do something else, so we gonna shit all over this. 
If you didn't want to do it, go do what you want to do and let somebody else come in to direct and write that shit. That's passionate about it. It's too many people that need jobs for y'all to just be out here like, oh, they was ready to go anyway, so let's just try to plug Cecile. Like, everybody be tired of her ever since she got her empath powers. Every time she come in the room, you hearing this little tweaking, and then she like, I know something's wrong. I know something's wrong, too, because it's me. It's me. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to fucking talk about it. Like, that shit's annoying as hell. Like, girl, I'm, that I'm, shit. I'm done with the Cecile bashing. Fuck that. You you go ahead. I'm I'm done. Grant Gustin, it was a pleasure to watch you for nine years. Candace Patton, it was such an honor to watch you for nine yeah, years. I, I understand show. the struggles you went through. I understand that you wanted to leave season two and you stuck it out. Thank you for sticking it out. Oh, and JC. Thank you for sticking it out. You handled it. I know it was rough. But you stuck that shit out and you bawled and you showed the haters who the fuck you were. Yeah. You are Iris West. And you got now you. they are changing Iris West in the comments yeah. for you. In the tomorrow verse, in the uh anime universe in the anime, in the animated yeah. universe, Iris West is black now. Yeah. So thank you, Miss Candace Patton. Yeah, because we know you went through some shit. Oh yeah. Hair, makeup, because you don't want to be labeled in this industry, and I know this personally, that, oh, you're difficult. Internet trolls and racism. Yeah. It's okay. You did it. Go on to your next project. Hopefully, it's something we can react to. Hopefully, it's like something on Netflix or something like that. I don't, I don't want to do live TV no more. This is the last show live, pretty much, that I want to do. I mean, Game of Thrones and shit, whenever that fucking come out. But pretty much anything else. Screaming service. I'm tired of cable now. I hope I hope you all oh Jesse L. Yeah, that's what I said. Jesse, Jesse L, baby. Hey, them speeches and them scenes. Bro. bro. The dad of the Carlos show. Valdez. Let's talk about Carlos. Nobody geeked out more than Cisco Ramon. The growth of that character, he was the fan character. He was, he was everything. And when, when Reverb showed up season two, Tom Cavanaugh, the many faces, the Tom Cavanaugh, the many faces, Lord. bro. That the acting range on this guy, he should never want for work. Just all the characters he play. I'm like, why is he not working? If he's not working, I have questions. Now, these are like a lot of these people on this show. I have questions if they're not working. Mm -hmm. I have oh, questions. They choose to not work. It, exactly. If they choose to not work, I get it. But if they're going for the next job and they're not working, I have questions. I literally have questions. If they're not good enough, please. If it's a drama, bullshit. Bullshit. Bringing out emotions of people, bullshit. I'm just saying. Well, that was even, the end even, of the Arrowverse, though. Even, even Danielle in, in earlier seasons, I was like, yo, what's up? Especially when it came to fucking season two. She rocked season two with the Zolomon shit. She was mm -hmm. like, no. Like, she was like, I do not want this motherfucker to be evil. Please be wrong. I remember that shit. She just was tired. And, the, and her whole transition from. Caitlyn to Frost. Well, Caitlyn to Killer Frost to Frost. That back and forth, that dynamic doing the double roll shit. I enjoyed that shit. I can't lie. But the original cast, and let's talk about Rick, Eddie Thorn. Mm -hmm. His performance as Cobalt Blue was good. I enjoyed it. I really did. I feel like we were cheated, though. I feel like we should have got more of that shit. Mm -hmm. The last five episodes, the way he, he was acting. Have, well, I don't know if Cobalt Blue has no, a face cover. He don't. No, he just like it is. Oh, okay. Now, they gave him a red sword, which the sword should have been like, I think like blue, I think. But it should have been more. The sword should have been more. Whatever. But his acting, like from like think of him in season one, the way he was acting. But the way he was acting this last episode, like, yo. 
the, uh, the potential was there. Oh, it like, was. It's just the writing could have been different. That's why I was like, we like we had on like this the whole give season. me. I need. I need y'all, like y'all five or six teased, episodes. Y'all teased Cobalt Blue at the end of season eight, and went into season nine and went seven different directions, and then came back around to Cobalt Blue at the end. That's why I was like, this could have been a whole story because that's what we was thinking we was gonna get. Y'all in Mercury Labs looking at blue crystals and shit or whatever they was looking at at the end of the season eight. And then, we'll see, you know, like, and like I said, we gave them the first episode, the whole Groundhog Day episode yeah. coming back into it. We know the first episode, you know, well, depending on the show, you get an amazing first episode sometimes. Yeah. But it was cute. You know, I wasn't, messing, I wasn't was mad bad, about the Groundhog you know Day. But I'm like, it shit just went left after that. Left, took a right, came back left. Went down. Took two more lifts, then the swoop back around to the end. Is, like, that, is that is that hell over there? Like what the oh, fuck? I, was, I thought you was really looking at something. I was like, what is going on? I'm like, where are we? Like we don't we are lost. But you know, you know what? I don't give a fuck because guess what? I got a lot of good shit. I got season one, episode fifteen, season one. Episode twenty two and twenty three. It's some good. I, I like. I like twenty two. Like I don't know what the, the rogue episode. I don't know how I like that episode. Season two, episode six. I'm mad. My boy. Season Teddy two, ain't episode no twenty two and twenty three. If y'all know me, I love me some Teddy, bro. I love me some Zoom. Season three, episode seven. When Savitar was dragging Barry through the fucking speed force. That shit. When See? Zoom was dragging. I mean, Sav- Savitar, you got me. No, fucked you up. said Savitar, but I'm saying, but for me, when oh, Zoom was two, dragging his six. motherfucker, like that season was two, that episode was it six. for me. I was like, oh, we breaking, we we snapped. Um, season four. What was it? Season four episode. It had was, to be at the end, child. <laughs> Look at uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> season four, episode sixteen. Flash like, time. It had to be towards the end. Look, I'm like, it had to be towards the end, baby, because that no was- season four, episode seven. What happened, episode seven? When we when uh Thon was talking to Devoe outside uh Star Lab. I'm thinking about the wrong season, there, man. Yeah, I'm thinking about season five with the cicada sheet. That's season five, episode eight, the hundred episode. That was fucking phenomenal. Is that the one where they- was past his prologue? Okay, yeah. Like that was a great fucking episode. That was a good. It it was some it was some really great moments in this show though. Like I ain't gonna hold I y'all. Like it was a lot of good moments. Yeah. And like I said, like I could, put, I'm I'm the type of person where like if I like something, I'm human. Like I know there's gonna be good, bad, and ugly. You know what I'm saying? But the good is always supposed to outweigh the bad. Yeah. And I just feel like with this last season, just being 13 episodes, y'all shaved off 10 or 11, however many y'all know them do. Y'all shaved a lot of it off. So I'm like, it should have been strictly. Build up towards Cobalt Blue, like the the whole Red Death thing. I'm not mad at my girl for getting a check because I fucks with Javisha the long way. But I'm just like, if y'all really had her come in for her not to body nobody, then we could have had a big enough build up to where you needed extra people to come help on some episode or something. You know what I'm saying? You could have still built up Cobalt Blue, but still had like a sub boss or something come through. Like you could have had her come help with blood work when you know, like when the blood work shit popped off. Like her and Iris could have been friends, and she could have pulled up for baby birthday party, and could have been there for that. Yeah, it was a lot of unnecessary. Things. And even that, the blood work episode, I don't even fuck with blood work like that. But that was one episode. Like I was like, it just feel like they took everything good about the Flash and tried to squish it into like just a little bit, like enough to be like so people don't complain. Because you do have some people that's like, oh, this episode was good, so I'm not gonna say nothing. But it's just that one episode. Like you watch twelve bad episodes, and then if you get one good one, you good. Like it's exactly. people that be like that, and, and it's people that's gonna be like, "Oh, this this makes it all worth it." This last episode, because this is what I'm gonna get in my comments. Oh, the last episode made everything worth it, and it's, so, that's not how you are as a fan. You supposed to. So you're not gonna critique them on the twelve bad. I was like, the bad outweighed the good. I'm and like, we're not saying that twelve episodes were bad. We're just using an example. Because I appreciated the last, like, five episodes. Yeah. But, like I said, it still felt rushed. And I still felt like it was some things that they could have not done and done. But it's like, and then you have those fans that, like, with Marvel, like, they could Marvel can do everything right. And they get that one show that people feel like is me. And then Marvel fell off. Like, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. Can't, like, that's not how you be a fan. That's, that's, that, you that, can't, that's fake. Like, you have to be, like, in. you have to have that middle ground as a fan where you know everything is not going to be perfect. And then even when times get hard, you still have to stick around. That's what it means to be a fan. And like everybody's saying, to me, everybody's saying Guardians of the Galaxy is great. To me, Guardians was me. Well, you don't know shit, Trey. Okay, cool. And everybody's telling me that this season is the greatest thing ever. And I'm like, I don't know about all that. And I'm the, 
Who do you know? Pretty much, and and put it in the comments. Who do you know? Because I'm I'm gonna read the comments tonight because I haven't read the comments in years. Who do you know really? Like it's only a few people that I admit that are on my level when it comes to the Flash out here that do reactions and YouTube. I'm arrogant as fuck right now. There are not many people that know the shit I know. It's a few that might know more because they've read comic books re recently. I haven't even read comic books, but now it's time for me to get back on my comic book shit because I ain't got no Flash TV show, bitch. So now it's time for me to get back on my comic book shit. But who do you know that can really compete with me? So I'm like, y'all just... I, I just really don't... I don't, I don't feel like this season was the greatest. If I was to rank this... Yeah, you go do your rank and let me throw what I got to say. If I was to rank The Flash right now in its entirety, it's a new ranking. 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, or 8. Eight seven. Cause what was eight? What was eight? I don't even remember eight. What was in eight? Fuck. I'm drawing a blank right now. I can't even remember who was in eight. Was the forces eight or was the forces? The forces, six? I think, was eight. I think that was last season with the forces. And seven was with uh what's his name from the future? Uh the one with the white feet. I get the yeah, the Gospy was um Gospy was seven. Blood work was six. Blood, Blood work, work was six. Blood work and Mirror Monarch was six. And then um old boy was seven. Cause that's when they used the lightsaber shits at the end in seven. When they beat him, cause Thawne helped him remember beat him. So that was seven. And eight was the forces. Cause that's when Thawne died last season. Okay. That was all the mom dad. Then you had to build up to till we got to the end of that. And then this. I Feel like for me the ranking for the Flash. I agree with you on the two one three, because you know two my boy. I, I agree with you on the two one three, but I feel like for me, who was who? It wasn't another villain for six. I don't know. I feel it like, was Blood Work and Mirror Monarch. I feel like came, because I like, season six was COVID. Okay, I feel like I like season seven more than I did like. Four or five. I don't know. I feel like seven would move up for me. Because I kind of like the Gossip stuff a little bit at the end a little more than I did like Cicada and The Thinker. Because The Thinker would have been better had they not waited till like the last episode to let him use all his fucking powers. This is the the only reason I said that because Gossip came across all those seasons. Gossip was across all those seasons popping up here, there, here, there. And I then, understand. and like he just, he didn't give off Godspeed. Because well, see, it got, cause of the a com comic reader. Exactly. So me being like TV only, I feel like it's two, one, three. I'll give you four for the thinker because the thinker was my dude though. Like, but I just feel like I hated that they waited all that shit he was absorbing for people. You wait till the end to like use all that. But I, him and his wife, I fuck with them though because they was cutting up. But like I said, it was one of them seasons where we could have been had that yeah. versus waiting to the end. But for me, I'm gonna do seven over five because the cicada shit did not get good until the girl cicada came at the end. She was bodying motherfuckers. Like she was what the original cicada should have been originally. Okay, and the reason I put five over seven is because the whole Nora situation. Nora coming back. And being Nora here, was five, right? Yeah, Nora was five. Yeah, see, she annoyed the fuck out of me, so that's why. <laughs> see what I'm saying? You didn't like Nora. I like Nora, but I liked her. But then when she had that little, oh my bad girl, I'ma link up with you know, like that kind of shit at the end. I'm like, what? What are we doing? Like that? But see, that's that rebellious shit, and that's when you learn. Like we learned that how old she was, and she was acting like this. That yeah, was annoying. it was annoying because I'm like, you're a whole ass 27 year old, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, like it, that that when you figured now, that out, that when, was, that's when she was like, when I was thinking she was on the young end of it, it didn't bother me. But yeah. I'm like, girl, you because young. when she had the ponytail, she looked like she was like 17. Was and give it up to fucking Jessica Parker Kennedy in this bitch. She, she she's 38 kid. years old, 30, finna be like 39, and she looked like she could pass yeah, for like 18. Right? Yes, yeah, and she. Um, girl, what is your skin routine? Let's talk I about do, it. I do push up, sit up, and drink plenty of juice. I want no fuck. 
Like, but yes, let's give it up to the people that made the cameos off. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I had wanted to do. I really want to be like bullshit aside because the show is over, so it ain't no point of like complaining. Yeah. I do want to give it up to Grant and Candace though, because I do feel like nine years. I know. Now, I do know Candace went through some things that Grant didn't go through, but I still feel like for both of them, I know it probably was struggles with this show. Like, I know you had your struggles, you know, on and off camera, whatever. I just have to give it up to y'all for... I have to give it up to Grant for having her back as her co-star when people did try to come for her. He made that post that time that was like, she's Irish, so, like, y'all gonna have to get over that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate for them because a lot of people won't do that. Like, they your castmate and your co-star, y'all on the show together, and people would have fed into the whole, like, uh, Snowberry bullshit and had more people targeting her. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I appreciate him for that, because I know he's kind of soft-spoken and try not to be online and stuff like that either, but I feel like they were actually friends, and he saw that that was hurting her, so he said something, which is what you're supposed to do if you're a friend. Just a decent person in general. Y'all even have to be the best of friends, but y'all work together, and if y'all cool on set, you know... I appreciate him stepping up because he didn't have to do that. So I do appreciate from that. And I appreciate her for sticking around because I know I've heard her and like Javisha and Anna and all them, like Anna Dia, I've heard all them like have conversations before where like they stayed because of the little black girls that's looking at them like, oh my God, like that could be me one day. Or, mm -hmm. you know, like the inclusion of seeing superheroes that look like you because old as I am, I didn't get that shit growing up. You got the white Barbies. You had that to choose between the white Cabbage Patch dolls or whatever you saw on TV. You know what I'm saying? At most, I had Rogue because she had a Southern accent. <laughs> Look at that. That's about as black <laughs> as it was going to get. But like Sophia Rose, Rogue with her accent. But I'm like, I just appreciate them for taking on those challenges because mentally, that's draining. Especially when you work in nine months out the year. It ain't like it's just, oh, I'm coming to turn on the camera and do whatever for a couple weeks and I'm out. Nine months out of the year, you dealing with this shit. Every day, you dealing then with Then when you off, that show's probably airing while you off, so you still dealing with the bullshit online. So mm -hmm. it's basically year round. So I appreciate them for that. I love Jesse. I really wish we could have got more like Wally. Yeah. They Look. didn't know what to do with him when they had him, so I do not fault him for leaving. Oh, no. Because that's your career. Do what you got to do. But, but see, I really wish we could have had more like, because you got you got him in his rebellious stage. Mm -hmm. So I wish we could have got more family time with them together, like him, Iris, and Candace, to, uh, and him, Iris, and Joe <laughs> together, like doing stuff as a family because we just got, I pulled up at your door and I'm mad because you my daddy and you know what I'm saying? And this is the thing right here. Grant knew and Candace knew that they were both leaving after nine. Had uh, Kia Kenan been a part of the show, the show could have continued as The Flash. And it could have been just like the comics. When Wally exactly. It That's could've... your spinoff. Right there. It, it, no wouldn't damn... even, it wouldn't even have been a spinoff. No, the show would have continued Not on. your damn virtue. <laughs> you see like... what I'm saying? But see, this is, this is the thing about writing. You see what I'm saying? It was years. It, he could have grown. Mm -hmm. And right then, right now, when he came back, he was like, it's time for you to take up the mountain. And he out here opening up breaches. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could have, that, that could have been the mantle change right there. When he was there, episode nine, he was supposed to become the Flash. Put him in red, cover his head. It's time for you to become, you ain't even got to cover his head. Just make that piece red, whatever. And he could have been the Flash. But you know, hey, look, thank y'all. For nine years. Yeah. Everyone, thank you for we nine years. We watched it, but y'all had to live it. Exactly. Y'all had to live it. So thank y'all for that. The cast, the crew, the people that got up every morning at 3, 4, 5, whatever time you get up. Yeah. Dealing with the cold Canada air. Oh, Vancouver. Like that shit. Oh, Vancouver gonna miss that money, though. <laughs> that, that Vancouver money. gonna get their money. Don't It ain't too many people that don't shoot in Vancouver. True. They gonna get their money. So, But for the like, past, since 2012... They had that money the coming in for yeah, the Arrowverse money that was coming into that city. They gonna be like, shit, man. Now money. I don't know the fate of Superman and Lois because that's, that's not a part of the Arrowverse, but that's like the last superhero show left on the season. So, and like so. people are mad about that too. I, I've been hearing people like, bro, if they cancel that shit, I'm mad. I'm pissed. I ain't. I, ain't, just I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I'm. I, I'm rooting for y'all. Yeah. I like and I that. and look, I'm not even a Superman fan. I like Tyler though. So. I'm rooting for y'all. I'm yeah. truly like my show may be going off, so I don't want y'all to fail. So hey, I hope y'all get a next another season. 
This is from a guy that's not a Superman fan, but I fuck with Tyler though. So, hope y'all keep doing y'all thing over there, Superman and Lois. We go go. This is the end. This is the final run. This is the last time you will see this room. This room. We are gone. Yeah, we gone from this house and the Flash is going on. Exactly. We ended really the Flash here. Later on, that they do some kind of con where like Candace and Grant are there so I could try to find a way to get there. Well, because I'm said, so I'm mad. Bitch. Like, well, she didn't come, but we did get to meet Grant before and took yes. a picture of him. But I would love to go to a con where like her and Javisha and Grant, like all the people that I like are like there together. But I know how it is in America, so y'all probably do that more so overseas. Like but. she probably, no, so she probably go. No, she so. was overseas recently, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think so she was if overseas. I, if I can get but. that, I'm getting that picture. We gonna go. Yeah. This is the final run again. Thank you for the support for all these for, years since season three, episode fifteen. Went, since we started reactions. Yeah. Some of y'all missed that because that was the first channel, but... Yeah. What was that? The Wrath of Savitar. Baby, cutting up when my boy Wally got snatched. We was, I was hollering. <laughs> Whatever episode that was that came later, we got snatched. <laughs> so I was like, yo. So we, we've we been doing this for years over here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I know people are thinking... So, because I'm already going to get asked this. I don't know if I go back and watch the first episodes all the way up to that point. Yeah. I, I might, a lot I of people might go get back. on Patreon and be like, we're the first... Three seasons out of five, like, bro, we won't even react. <laughs> so I might just, I'm, I don't know if Tasha will do it. I might just set up. I would, because I like the first three seasons a lot. Those Oops. are my favorite seasons. So I might say, you know what? For, with Teddy and I'm coming for Teddy. Like, say, so I might check that out. We'll see. I ain't going to yeah. promise when. I ain't going to say when. I ain't going to do none of that shit. So don't, when you said you, I ain't say shit. I did not say a date. I did not say a year. I don't know when or if even. Thank you for the support. Yes, thank y'all. For the going to the speed ride. force. Good, bad, or ugly. I fucks with y'all on the flash. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I hope thank y'all all get something better, you know, whatever you want. I would love to see Grant as a new DC Flash though. Thank you for the support. Thank you for giving nine years of you all's life to us, Flash family. Go off into the speed force. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Real. Damn, I just thought about something. Wait. Was Michelle in the last scene? Yes. Okay, because I was just like, damn, when you see Michelle, when you see Speed Force, no And no, I was like, she was, I remember Jay being there, but that was his wife, right? I think that was Joan, yeah. Yeah, Joan. But I was like, I was looking for Speed Force, no, because, you know, she was sweating and disappearing the last time they shot. <laughs> I was like, we can go ahead and end the video. Y'all stay real. You not ready to watch, so you might as well subscribe. Please.